Hi everyone, welcome to the program Faith in Action. We are broadcasting live here in China from the capital, Hong Kong. And it's Saturday, 10 o'clock tonight. We'll be praying for your family and we'll be lifting up as well the mothers, knowing that on Sunday we have Mother's Day. Now, do something special and start sharing the link. Spread the news so that everybody can benefit of the program. We're going to go for a short break. After that, we'll be back in the comment section. You can submit your family names and your prayer requests for tonight's program. Stay with us. Mom, have I ever told you how uniquely special you are? No one else supported me for nine months in her room, feeling pain and discomfort. I say this very little, but you are incredible. Thank you. For the moments you've had to stay up late taking care of me. For the strength you've shown when all seemed to be failing. For believing in my potential. Thank you for every moment you looked at me wondering what on earth you were going to do with me. Mum, thank you for the words of encouragement that still keep me going. Mum. God will never forget you and continue to bless all that you do. This special day is dedicated to you, dearest mother. Won't you accept my invitation to be my guest of honor? You are specially invited to this unique Mothering Sunday where you will receive a special gift just for you. Welcome back to Faith in Action. Tonight's program is all about the preparation of Mother's Day. Tomorrow, our help center will be a special place where we will celebrate Mother's Day, both physically, our biological moms and guardians and grandmoms, we're going to be blessing them, we'll be praying for them, and we'll also be lifting up a prayer for our spiritual mom, the church itself. So it will be a double blessing. Moms, they will come and receive prayers, but also we'll be praying for their children. And we have as well kids coming, lifting up their parents in prayer. Now, in tonight's program, we have prepared a true life story that we're going to watch together, and after that, we're going to be back. This is Faith in Action. Stay with us. Hi, my name is Desiree. Growing up, my mom was a very complicated character, to say the least. In our household, there was a saying uh, that what Lourdes, get, what Lourdes wants, Lourdes gets. Lourdes is my mom. So my mom would try to do anything and everything to get whatever she wanted, no matter who it hurt in our household. And it took a toll on all of us. She was uh, quite an aggressive person. She was, uh, I remember one time when she didn't get what she wanted from my dad, she even threw my little baby brother across the room towards my dad. She was sometimes physically abusive. If I did something wrong, she would smack me and it was very, very painful. She would even threaten me with a belt once or twice. Thankfully, I didn't get to that stage, but you can imagine the kind of talk that she put towards me and my family. So, Actually, some of the worst things that she did was the verbal abuse, whether or not she knew it, but her words were always very negative towards us. In particular for myself, she always put me down. There was always something wrong with my appearance, with what I did. She never balanced that with positive words. So all I heard was, you have a big forehead, you have a big bum, you're not good at this, you're not good at that. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And as a result, because of all those negative words, I became very insecure inside, underconfident, um, and I felt really unloved, generally. But as time went by, because of all of that, I developed hatred towards her, grudges towards her, even I know some of my family members also had the same uh, reaction towards her. Generally speaking, if she was around, everyone was afraid of the reaction she might have if you said something that didn't go according to what she wanted. Now. Um, but then as I continued to grow older, things grew even worse because it caused, it caused a problem between her and my dad. So as they started having relationship issues, she developed addictions to alcohol. 
She would invite me to have a shot in the morning for breakfast, for example. Um, and because she would, be, she would be drunk, I was even... I was even drunk also on my side, for example, and we would fight really, really terribly. I remember that situation when they were having marriage problems. Me and my mom, like, I, I remember throwing things at her. She threw things at me, yelling, screaming. You name it, we did it against each other. Hair pulling, everything. But then there was a time that she was invited to this place called the UCKG. She mentioned it to me once or twice at the beginning, and I noticed she started attending more regularly. So she was going, and um, I started to see slowly but surely some changes inside of her. You know, she started to be less aggressive over time. It wasn't overnight, of course, was over a period of, of at least a year, half a year even, um, where you know I could see okay, she was she was reacting differently to situations. So where normally she would explode and shout, she would keep quiet, or she'd be like, "It's okay, don't worry, my darling. You know, take care." And I was like, "Hmm." What's going on with my mom? It made me curious, but I have to admit, even though it made me curious, it took a long time for me to accept her invitation because as she saw changes in herself, she wanted to help me. So she was inviting me to the UCKG too, but I was still, I was still on the edge about it because I didn't see the complete transformation right away. But as time developed, as she was working on herself, so our relationship uh, became better. I grew closer to her. I could talk to her finally where once I could never open up about anything to her for fear of her shouting, getting angry, I could actually go to her for advice for once. Not only that, but actually, when I tried to go to her for advice in the past, it would always be something kind of nonsensical, related to some kind of random superstition or something, and generally something that I, I just didn't have confidence was gonna help. But I noticed now when I came to her, naturally I felt like I wanted to ask for advice. We were, um, and what she came back with made sense. It, it, I actually felt like it was something I could put into practice that would help me in my life as well. So she was really being a mom for once. She wasn't a mom to me before, so much so that I hated her. But then suddenly I was seeing her transform into this mother figure that I had always wanted to have ever, when I was growing up. Eventually, I finally gave in and I did go to the UCKG with her. And I'm glad I did because uh, it meant that I started to learn the same things that she learned as well. So all those insecurities that she had once contributed to put inside of me, uh, attending the UCKG, I started to be able to overcome as well. Again, not overnight, it took time and some effort on my part, of course. Uh, but as time went along, we were both working on ourselves and we both became much better. She became a much better mom. I became a much better daughter. We stopped fighting like we once did before Instead, we would, we would resolve situations in, in a proper manner, talking to each other or allowing ourselves to cool off and then coming back later to, to have a chat. Um, but now our relationship is completely transformed. Now I could truly say my mom is one of my best friends. We love to hang out together. Uh, she spends a lot of time in the Philippines now, so she's not always here with me in Hong Kong. But whenever we're together, I try to make the most of it because I love to be in our presence. Before. I could not wait to leave my house to be far away from her. <laughs> but I'm so glad that uh, she found the UCKG and that she also brought me too. Because, because of that, the two of us are transformed. Her as a mother, me as a daughter, and our relationship as a mother and daughter is like never before. So if you are facing any issues uh, in your relationship with your mom or maybe with your daughter, I highly recommend to come join us at the UCKG. Welcome back to Faith in Action. If you're joining us in the program right now, you can still submit your family names and your prayer request in the comment section. You just witnessed the true life story of Desri, who was sharing about her mom. Their relationship wasn't always easy, especially in the beginning. Lots of disagreements, hardship, and we have to understand there was also a generational gap when you talk about kids and their parents. Often there's a gap of 20 years. She couldn't get along with her mom. Her mom had some character issues. And of course, kids growing up, they have little patience as well. Both of them had issues they had to resolve and both of them had to improve. Now, something I would like to highlight is the fact that the mom of Desri, 
she came to the help center and she found help. And talking about help, sometimes we don't realize that we need help. Sometimes we may feel like everything is all right. In her case, her family was falling apart and she was humble enough and intelligent enough to understand if I continue this way, I'm going to lose my, my kids. I'm going to lo lose my, my daughter and my son. People are going to be hating me. And the people that I love so much, they'll turn their back on me. And sometimes people, they know the problem they have within, but they simply don't know how to deal with it, how to solve the problem. So in this case, in her mom's case, she was looking for help. She wanted help, wanted to change. She just couldn't do it alone. And that's what we focus on in the help center. In the help center here, we help people through a difficult moment in life. That could be relationship-wise, it could be health-wise, it could be as well related to work, career-wise, people that may feel depressed, anxious, people that can go through challenges, adversities that make them feel they are not able to cope, low self-esteem, underconfidence, all of this can impede a person to move forward. And that's where we enter and we, we, we basically accompany the person to get out of the negativity and move forward into green pastures. Now, speaking about the mom of Desri, of course, she had certain issues that she had to resolve. And often when we think about our moms and we think about them being superheroes, they're able to do everything at home, everything at work, taking care of the kids, cooking, cleaning, uh, doing the ironing, washing the clothes, the groceries. Sometimes we forget that mothers, they have problems as well. That mothers, they have inner issues. Some mothers, they may even have traumas and they have pains and problems that they experience when they were teenagers, kids, going to school, perhaps in their marriage, and all that pressure and stress they bring into their family. Sometimes they react towards their children, not because they like to do that, not because they enjoy to hurt family members, like what happened to Desiree, simply because they, had, they haven't found a, an outlet, a solution, you know, an exit. So in this case, mothers that are often forgotten, they are, and they are often the ones that rise up early, go to sleep late at night. They are the last to sit at the table. They are the first to serve everyone, but the last to eat. Often they are forgotten. And we're going to make sure that tomorrow, in our Mother's Day celebration, the mothers, they will get special attention. Many prayers will be made for the mothers. And I believe that many of them, they will be uplifted. They will leave the help center they will leave the help center with a new chapter in their life. Strong, confident, free of guilt, forgiven, healed both in their body and in their heart. There are going to be many blessings here for them to receive. So if you want to know more about that, you can text our WhatsApp number. You get the addresses here beneath on the screen. Join us on Mother's Day. And if you are not a mother, you can come and pray for your mother. And if you are, you know, alone and you would like to bring somebody with you, why don't you invite your neighbor, a family member, a relative, or even somebody that is always complaining to you about their hardship, their difficulty. And the best thing for you to do tomorrow is give that person a call, a text message via Facebook, Twitter, Messenger, Invite them, prepare them, and even pick them up and bring them to one of our meetings, either 9 a.m. in the morning or 11 a.m. in the morning. Make it a special day 
and make somebody happy. A happiness that is not temporary, but a happiness that can be everlasting, eternal. We're going to go for a short break. After that, we'll be back with a prayer. Stay with us. This is Faith in Action. Mom, have I ever told you how uniquely special you are? No one else supported me for nine months in her room, feeling pain and discomfort. I say this very little, but you are incredible. Thank you. For the moments you've had to stay up late taking care of me. For the strength you've shown when all seemed to be failing. For believing in my potential. Thank you for every moment you looked at me, wondering what on earth you were going to do with me. Mum, thank you for the words of encouragement that still keep me going. Mum, God will never forget you and continue to bless all that you do. This special day is dedicated to you, dearest mother. Won't you accept my invitation to be my guest of honor? You are specially invited to this unique Mothering Sunday where you will receive a special gift just for you. Welcome back to Faith in Action. We're going to get ready for the prayer. If you submitted family names, prayer requests in the comment section, we're going to include it right now and lift it up before God. Please stretch out your hand in my direction. I'm going to hold here the scriptures with at least 5,000 promises. Close your eyes, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we lift up all the names in the comment section. Prayer requests, family members, and also mothers. Each and every promise in the Bible must be fulfilled in the life of your people. Some people need healing. Some people need deliverance. Some people, Lord, they need restoration in their marriage. They need a blessing for their children. Other people, my Lord, they have an emergency. They need to find a job. They need to resolve a court case, a visa application. They need a breakthrough. They need, my Lord, a miracle. And only you can provide that. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to all listeners and everybody tuning in live and even those that are watching after the program finishes and they watch the recorded program in Jesus Christ's name. The gates of Hades, the challenges, the pain, the hardship, the curses, the illness, the disease, the injustice that you encounter in your life cannot prevail against your life anymore. I bless your life. I heal those that are sick. I speak into your family and your marriage, restoration, togetherness, unity, harmony, happiness as well. I speak right now into your work, your business, progress, prosperity, breakthrough, and I lift up your name to God that our God is right now protecting your life and He places His hand upon your home, your household. Be a blessing and overcome what you have not been able to overcome yet. My Lord, I also pray for our Mother's Day event tomorrow that every mother that will come will leave the Help Center strong and healthy, with a new mindset, forgiven, guilt-free, blessed in their heart and mind, together with their children, their spouses, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I also pray, Father, for the spiritual mother, the church, to be a place where everybody that is in darkness, where they can find the light. The church will be a lighthouse. And those that are the church, the people, of course, Wherever they go, they will shine these lights and rescue the souls that have been going astray. 
I'm blessing the evangelists. I'm blessing, my Lord, the missionaries. I'm blessing, my Lord, all the groups in the church and the assistants and everybody that is the church and that will go out and shine this light and bring that soul tomorrow into the house of God. God is with you. He will put the right words in your mouth. And as you send your invitations tonight, it will reach out and touch the people that God has chosen for you to bring in Jesus' name. And if you believe, say, Amen. Very well. So we're coming to the end of the program right now. And tomorrow we're going to be here in, a, in the Help Center in Kowloon, here in Changsha Wan. And we're going to have meetings in our branch in Hong Kong Island in Central. If you need more information, check out our website. Program yourself. Have a wonderful night. God bless you abundantly. We'll be back again next Saturday at the same time. Bye-bye.